The living water is a blessing to all mankind and to the entire earth. And we are designed, we are that fountain. We are um, blessed constantly with the joy and the beauty of being alive on this day. Our breath, the sun, the fragrances, each other. When we think about how blessed we are, it is very easy to allow praise to rise and to allow um, the flow of that, that blessing to truly be appreciated. Can we experience right now that the rain is falling upon all our heads at the same time? We are doing this together. This is a participatory service. It is not a listening event. Someone once told me that listening was a lost art because people are so ready to speak the next word. But listening can also be a passive experience. So I invite you to actively be pouring forth your word, your radiance, your water into this service so that what's going forth is a, is a pouring collectively from the pitcher of the waters gathered because we are participating at the level of being filled with praise and thanksgiving, knowing how significant the living, how significant the living water is to our soul, but the world, so that the mountain that is in front of us easily moves into the sea. There is research that shows currently that water changes its properties when it's moving. That water that has been kept in a container, even though people often do that so that the gases leave it, water moving has more energy and more power and more nourishment to the body. That's why people drank from rivers more than lakes in the, historically. The nourishment of living waters moving through a conscious body of men and women carries a lot more energy than just worshiping at the fountain. So I appreciate all who have participated so far in allowing this to be a collection, a pouring and a receiving, to receive the rain that comes down as a result of our praise, our puja, our worship, our offering up, our graceful elevation of that which comes to us and then comes back, not void, but abundant.